AF Yetlayo Kutl in 2010. Everyone remembers the eruption of this Icelandic volcano and being particularly struck by the cloud of ash that appeared, forcing many airlines to ground their aircraft. An invisible cloud of ash that could not be detected by the human eye raised many complications for air navigation. Thus, it is vital today for passenger safety issues and the airline's finances alike that aircraft should be able to detect and analyze the presence of a cloud of volcanic ash. A system needs to be developed, and this is the purpose of the AVOID mission. One of the airlines most severely hit by the 2010 eruption, EasyJet, contacted Airbus with its idea for the AVOID project. For the purposes of this operation, they joined forces with Mechanica, a company that specializes in infrared and ultraviolet imaging that has developed a system for detecting and measuring sulfur dioxide emissions and volcanic ash, using technology that could eventually be standard on board planes. Airbus, EasyJet and Nikanica came up with a wide-ranging operation, a one-of-a-kind test flight requiring the services of three aircraft. An A400M that you could say is responsible for setting the scene would have to climb three to 4,000 meters, making five tight spirals as it discharged almost a ton of silica to replicate the volcanic ash conditions required for the test. A preliminary test conducted in July 2013 determined the capacity of the plane that would be able to carry out this type of operation. Invisible to the eye, the cloud will be about 600 feet high and about three kilometers in diameter. To create the cloud, 50 containers with 20 kilograms of volcanic ash will be loaded onto the A400M. The ash will be dispersed through two discharge nozzles at the back of the plane. A DA42 from the University of Applied Sciences Dusseldorf will have to analyze the volcanic ash. It will fly back and forth through the cloud center, equipped with a system enabling it to measure the optical properties inside the cloud. During that time, an A340-300, equipped with the AVOID system, will make detection measurements. It will head towards the cloud, taking these measurements at a distance of between 100 and 20 kilometers from it. In a role of an airline, the A340 will take three sets of readings from different altitudes. To ensure that the device works properly, a preliminary trial in the A340-300 conducted in 2012 turned out to be decisive. For all the partners involved, there was nothing to stop them getting to the heart of the matter. The AVOID mission could at last start. First time we're dropping ash into the atmosphere. No one's done that before. And then we have the A340 flying, trying to find it. We hope to prove beyond any doubt that the Nikanika avoid system can detect ash at distances of uh, 100 kilometers or more. flying for the very first time to detect volcanic ash with a new infrared camera.
results look really good. So we, we managed to image the ash plume while the DA-42 aircraft was flying in it. So we have extremely good validation for it. Well, for the future, once we've conducted this exercise, we now want to try and put it onto our A320 aircraft so that we can have a system uh, where we can see ash in the event of another eruption, wherever it is, Iceland or any other place. The Airbus team have been fantastic. And of course, EasyJet have sponsored and helped us along the way. So everybody is very happy. Everything worked perfect and uh, the results are beautiful and uh, we are looking forward to a further cooperation with Airbus. Over and above this test flight, a global first, and the resources deployed by Airbus to make it possible, the results of the readings should open up new prospects for air navigation, with the aim that it will be possible for airlines to continue operating their fleets in regions subject to high volcanic activity.